Okay, in the last video, we talked about deferral between a regular field point and like an arrow point or any one of these heads that have a, the fire knock double o-ring patent design on here. Um, if you missed that video, be sure to uh, watch it. I think there's very important info on that. Um, that being said, I want to concentrate on these three broadheads. These three broadheads are all gyro-based, meaning the weight is at the perimeter of the head. So it'll help magnify or enhance the spin of of the bolt. So the more, the faster it spins, the more uh, weight is dispersed. So this would act lighter, like a lesser weight boulder or head combination. Um, the more we can disperse the weight and also the more energy can be um, expended out from the head, not only forward directional so we can get energy coming away from the head on impact so this is the 175 trauma hawk um, it's a very thick head so when this goes through the animal I often tell my tell some of the shooters who are interested in getting this head it's kind of like a, a miniature axe uh, going through the animal versus like a clean slice cut um, where you have the potential say on a liver shot um, with the deer maybe bloating and the whole, then the, the wound channel partly sealing back up. Uh, this is thick. It's going to have a very hard, darn near impossible, probably impossible time sealing back up once you run something like this through it. Um, the idea of the head was to shoot an animal. Very ethical kill. Um, uh, in terms of blood trails, uh, the only thing it would be, be poor in a blood trail is in terms of length. So the idea was very little to no tracking at all. Um, that's what this had. It is a 135 pound KE or better um, recommendation for a crossbow. So that is order for, in order for the tip right here to break the elasticity of the hide and penetrate into the animal. So if you have 135 pound of of cross of energy coming out of your crossbow, um, this would be a great head. This head is very du very durable head. Um, one I have at home, I probably have easily over 50 or 60 shots on it now. Two of them being on game animals. Um, that I got actually a turkey video on YouTube. Uh, I might be posting that on the, on the description of this link too. Literally, basically drops the turkey where it is. I mean, the turkey circled around for, I don't know, eight or nine seconds. Call it a day. We had no running with the turkey. Afterwards, you'll see in the video, um, it, it did ha it did skip off the ground and hit a tree, and um, we just hit, put it back on the stone to clean up a little bit of the burrs, and it, the head was fine. So that overall is the theory behind these heads. All these will induce trauma. Now, these heads, this head worked out so cool that, you know, me and probably some others um, who were fire knock dealers, I kept on saying, George, you know, you got to make, you got to make this head over here um, for compounds. And he did just that. So he came out with the stainless steel 125 dagger. And it was funny because I kept on getting text message pictures but he got i think he got one of these heads and ground it down to it darn it darn near looked like this head so i always complimented on his grinding ability um so he came out with the 125 dagger still gyro based design this over here can be crossbow or vertical bow um you can put this on any arrow so this you can put it on a factory arrow um very sharp tip um Blades are, it's a two blade head. Um, this is a neat design head. I mean, it's got, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got different angles over here. And I, th I, th I think these are considered like relief angles for when the head is going around in rotation. Um, very accurate head. Again, a very durable head. Um, all these heads right here, if you're just shooting through game animals or um, target on foam. These heads over here have the potential to last you a few years or maybe longer. Um, we got one guy that shoots, he's been shooting, uh, bought one pack of trauma hawks off of us, these for 
about three years ago when Trauma Hawks, I think, first came out. Maybe it's been longer. And he's still on the same head on the same pack of three. So um, I've been shooting these since summertime myself at foam. Uh, I, I shot shot a, a deer with it in early season with my son. And um, I still got the same head. And all these heads are still sharpenable. Um, that being said, even after over probably 30, 40 hits on foam, uh, I can't tell the head. The, uh, can't tell the difference between that head and a new head in the pack. So these things really hold an edge well. If 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 you're a working man and you want some value in your broadhead and you don't want to buy like ten packs of broadheads a year, or whatever, because there a lot of guys will buy three or four packs a year just getting started. Um, they got to buy a there's a practice head and just buy this head, shoot it a bunch of times in foam. Odds are you can just put it back in your quiver, go out into the woods, and shoot something with it. So that's cool. This is the 125 grain head, uh, stainless steel. This guy over here, I'm at at ease, um, besides this one. Um, I'll have more of these coming in real soon. So this is the GR5 titanium dagger. This is the stainless one. These are going to come in off the top of my head. I think these are 75 grain heads. And where that came to be was I, you know, we're, we were talking about this stainless steel. So I hadn't said, oh, man, we need one lighter. And lo and behold, he comes out with a GR5 titanium dagger. So that was, that was cool. And people up front, well, some of the people will be like, ah, you know, why do you have such a light head? You don't, it's too light. That head was really to be implemented with this, this combination. Um, this is a concept system right here, tube. This is a double shoulder. Um, when first kicking the idea of lightweight heads going around, we we're like, well, you know, beans, we can stabilize the front of the arrow a lot better. Um, and have a better angle of attack with a broadhead. Could we go lighter in weight and still have penetration, arrow flight? Um, the answer was yes. So the GR5 titanium still being a 75 grain head, you got to keep in mind that even this head component over here is another, I think, shoot, I could be wrong. I'm either second guessing myself. It's either 8.5 or 12.5 grain. I want to say 12.5 grain. And these right here are about five, five and a half grains an inch. So you still got weight in the concept system. Um, but the weight is just more spread over the arrow shaft. And just to give you an idea, let me see if I can get my arms around here. I mean, of course, glue and epoxy gets put on here. I'm just showing you this for an example. This over here, the tubes kind of go in like this. Then we'll stick it in all the way, and then your head, your broadhead goes in there. So instead of having all your weight of your broadhead focused out front on the end, more like a sinker, the GR5 titanium head downs at 20 grains, but you have the added weight of the um, tubes. So you're really not that, not that far off like you think. And with the way that the concept system helps stiffen the front, of the, or helps, I should say, recover. Um, helps the front of the shaft recover um, at a launch. We have, we, we can use a, a, a lighter weight head and be efficient. So that's a little bit about the heads and the gyro based and why we have a little bit of a lightweight, a lighter weight dagger. And um, also we got 75 grain swing blade. We'll go into a video on that next. So these are the three heads. They're very, very durable heads. Um, very sharp heads, very lethal. <clears throat> so I got these on my website. There's a broadhead page. Uh, the website is www.vitallimits.com. You go to the about section, click on that. You'll see a bunch of tabs. Um, got a lot of different pages. Um, go to the broadhead section. And you'll see the you'll see these uh, broadheads being offered. Um, I got different configuration packs. I got these mixed in with these. 
Um, I got six packs, or I think it was nine packs, or, or nine per pack. Check out the uh, different configuration offerings. Um, I got free shipping on some of these heads in anywhere in the lower U.S. 48 states. Um, again, so check it out. If you have any questions at all about anything, feel free to uh, put it in the comments or uh, send me a, a, a message, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer. All right? Thanks.